Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always open for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score, and you're killing it. So November was a little bit of a rough reading month. I started out really strong and then the last few weeks I basically didn't read anything. So I'm just gonna walk you through the things that I did read and I hope you enjoy. So the first book that I read in November was Gypsy by Gypsy Rose Lee. It is her memoir. I read this because I'm dramaturging the musical Gypsy next semester and so I read this as research and let me tell you it is really really good. If you don't know who Gypsy is she was a burlesque dancer in the 1930s and she worked on vaudeville as a child with her sister and like her mom was their you know stage mom basically and she wrote this memoir herself it's not ghost written and it's written so well i was so impressed by that when i found out it wasn't ghost written i was like blown away and she has also written a mystery series which now i'm like super interested in reading actually which is kind of cool if this is something that interests you i would definitely check it out i gave it five stars the next book that i read in november I actually listened to on audiobook and it is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn and this is just a short novella. Gillian Flynn also wrote Gone Girl and Sharp Objects and Dark Places. I've read Gone Girl and Sharp Objects and really liked them so I decided that The Grown Up would be a great little quick audiobook to listen to. Um, I really liked it. It does the thing that Gillian Flynn does so well, which is have an unlikable main character. I don't want to tell you too much about it because it is so short. I would just say if you like Gillian Flynn, this is probably one you want to pick up. I ended up giving it four stars. The next book that I read in November was Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosgol, and this is a graphic novel about a young girl, Anya, who one day falls into a hole, and down there she finds the skeleton of a young girl, and along with the skeleton of the young girl, she runs into the girl's ghost, and she becomes friends with this ghost, but everything is not as friendly and happy as it seems. So it definitely takes a dark turn. I thought this was a really interesting graphic novel. I did really like the illustrations. I love the, the color palette. I think it's really pretty. I read this for my reading lit class, which was really cool because I've never read a graphic novel for a class before. So it was interesting to talk about like, the different pieces of a graphic novel in like more of a like literary criticism kind of way. I thought this was really excellent and I gave it four stars. Then I read A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi and I picked this up because I was hearing a lot of things about it and I really liked that it's about a Muslim girl in the United States shortly after 9-11 and she wears a hijab and she's persecuted for wearing a hijab basically because everyone thinks that she is a terrorist because that's kind of like the time period that we're in. The author actually has had several of these experiences herself so she drew from her real life so I really really liked that aspect. However, this is your basic YA romance once you get past the like diverse aspect of it. So I really liked the diverse aspect but the romance was very cheesy, the guy was way too perfect, and overall I felt like everything in this book happened too quickly. There wasn't enough time to digest everything that was happening, and there were some big shifts in thought that happened like really quickly, which I was just a little weirded out by. Without the diversity, I would have given this like a 2.5 stars. With the diversity, I gave it a 3.5 stars. So if you like YA romance and you like those tropes, then you'll probably really like this, and I would definitely recommend it. I still think it's a great book to read, especially for the diversity, but if you're not a fan of YA romance, you might want to pass. Then I read The Complete Mouse, so Mouse 1 and 2 by Art Spiegelman, and I don't have copies of these with me because I borrowed them from my sister when I was home for Thanksgiving, but basically they are graphic novels about the Holocaust in which the Jews are represented by mice and the Nazis are represented by cats and like it's very 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 interesting it's very famous and it deserves to be it was really really good really impactful kind of hard to read at times because it's it gets really dark and it's a graphic novel so 
it's pretty graphic. Even though they are mice, like it's still hard to see a pile of dead mouse bodies when you like know what that represents. They were really, really excellent. I ended up giving them 4.5 stars. And those were all of the books that I completed in November. I started a couple others, the big one of which being A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. And I got 736 pages into this in November and then, I don't know, I just stopped reading it. I, like, the last couple weeks of November were so busy and I had a lot of other things going on, a lot of other things that I was giving attention to, so that reading kind of fell to the side. And I haven't gone through this big of a stretch of just, like, not reading in a really long time, but I do plan to finish this in December, but didn't happen in November. Then I also received Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful by Arwen Ellis Dayton in the mail. Um, this is an ARC and it, it came out on December 4th and I really wanted to read this before its release date so I started reading it but I clearly didn't finish it. Um, same story as uh, Clash of Kings. I just stopped reading in that last week of November. So didn't finish it but I will finish it in December. The last book I started reading in November was I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which I started listening to on audiobook by Michelle McNamara. It's so good. I'm like 75% of the way through and it's just a really, really excellent book. She's just an amazing writer and like the story is so interesting, especially since we have now caught the guy, which is like amazing. I really, really am enjoying listening to that and excited to finish it. Those are all of the books that I read in November. Um, let me know what you read in November down in the comments below or if you particularly liked any of these books that I read. I would love to hear about that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Now I was headed to the bus stop, Maddie. You were